point do you take stock and say that things need to change internally, whether it's your outreach for the Hill, whether it's the leadership within the White House? Uh, it, you seem to be stymied on an incredible number of fronts right now. Well, let me give you a little bit of a different take on this. Uh, more than 200 million people are vaccinated. We've had a record job growth, record low unemployment rates uh, historically in this country over the last year. Uh, we also recognize when you have a, a small margin and threshold in the Senate, it's very difficult to get things done and to get legislation passed. And the fact that the president, under his leadership, got the American Rescue Plan passed, a bipartisan infrastructure bill with 19 votes in the Senate, about six votes in the House, uh, the fact that we are still continuing to, to work with members to determine the path forward on Build Back Better, that we have the vast majority of Democrats in the Senate supporting voting rights, that's a path forward for us. And our effort is to do hard things, try hard things, and keep at it. So we just don't see it through the same prism. So the sense is things are going well, there's no need for change right now. I think that uh, having worked in a White House before, uh, you do hard things in White Houses. Um, you have every challenge uh, at, your, at your feet, laid at your feet, whether it's global or domestically. Uh, and we could certainly propose legislation to see if people uh, support bunny rabbits and ice cream, but that wouldn't be very rewarding to the American people. So the President's view is we're going to keep pushing for hard things, and we're going to keep pushing the boulders up the hill to get it done.